that is what it boils down to. I always say one thing, if God did not call me to preach, I never want to be a preacher either. Never ever want to be a preacher. Because being a preacher, you have to tell the same, you have to tell people the same thing over and over and over. And you see them doing the same thing over and over and over. You know what happened back in my mind? I'll just forget them. Just forget them. You're going to let them frustrate you. You have nothing good to do. Come and buy something or go and do something more important now. Because if people's choice is to go to hell and you always trying to pull them away, to place them in that narrow road, when you try that, they go back right there. They want. They go back straight up. They might as well take a, take a victory flag and run down the road. Go that direction. Go. You don't know them down the same. You're talking to somebody and you get fed up on him. Man, go to hell. Live in Ireland. You know Ireland? Because they get to you until the top of your nerve. So the word of God said, hand this man over to Satan. You know what then? God will tell this. God will tell the authorities. Hand this man over to Satan. Meaning woman, man, hand him over to Satan. So that in due season, their soul might be saved. And that due season is when they are battered and when they are bruised. And when they come in and say, you know, I should have listened. You know, I should come and pretend. I know what was wrong from right. But you know the flesh. You know the flesh. Is the flesh shall be the devil will attack. Let's go again. Right. Do you want to be free from fear? Sure. Another question answered. It's the Sure. Then do what is right, and he will. You're talking to you, talking to me. Everyone. All right. I told you that question. You was asking me. Do Do you want to be free from? From fear of the one in authority. And if the yes, I want to be free from fear from the one that is in authority. I want to be free from fear. You know, they are God fearing people. Anybody know that? And the word of God said, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. So people who don't fear God, they have no sense. They, are, they have no common sense. They have no capital sense. They just have no five sense. They have no, I think they destroy scent. They don't, scent is not valid in Trinidad. Probably they're still getting it together. So they have no sense. Don't ask me if they are 25 cents and they are sent. Because if there are no sense, don't increase it. They just don't have no sense. We, they go on to the lowest of sense. All right, go ahead. It says, then do what is right, and he will commend you. Let me ask something, let me ask something. I want to share this. In the days of Adam and Eve, the first two human beings that God has created, and he put them in the garden. God told them, eat from this tree, do not eat from that tree. When they do, what was wrong all the time? They was fearless. They was fearless. But the minute when they do what was wrong, what did they happen? They become fearful. Then they realize they was naked. The minute they sin, you, become, you feel like you're naked and all. You feel as though anyone could see you at any time. So you move in around fear. You understand what I'm talking about? So when they sin, it's only then they run for clothes and leave and whatever. They are in the garden and they start covering up themselves. It's only then they become fearful of God. But when God leaves them and told them, you yeah, well, just eat from the street and be happy. And you will not be fearful. People, back to sin. Sin bring fear. And undercover sin, that undercover sin, that undercover sin will live deep within you. And the fear will live deep within you. And you will be running from you. You will be fearful of you. Fathers will be fearful of your leader. You see, if you are a Roman leader, that is deaf, dumb, and blind. They don't hear, they don't see. 
and not in tune and the spirit. They have no communication. Yeah. You can hear your chant, but yet you will be fearful of you. So don't even go and stand in front of a mirror. Alright? You'll be real fearful of you. Go ahead. It says, For he is God's servant to do you good. But if you do wrong, so, you realize, if you do wrong, what will happen? But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword for nothing. So he's God servant to do good for you. Yes. But if you do wrong, be afraid. You're supposed to be afraid. So sometimes again, I would say this: if people are afraid of me. You have a problem with it. It's all because you're just doing wrong. So you're supposed to be afraid. You're always supposed to be afraid. You know, well, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, a wicked man have a bold front. Sometimes the side is fearful, but put on a bold front. A bold front. But don't inside, they're fearful. Alright, read on. He is God's servant, an agent, an agent of wrong to bring punishment on the wrongdoer. So he's God's servant, an agent to bring punishment on the wrongdoers. I want to share something with the, with the church this morning, Sir Andy Morrison. God is a spirit, and God reveals things in the spirit. God shows things. In the spirit, when you when you pray in the spirit, when you live in the spirit, God will show you things. I want God to show up things in the spirit. There's two things you can do. Two things you can do. He can show you for you and you for you. Many of them say, Lord, you show somebody for somebody. So in the end of the day, take me out of it. Take me out of it. Two things you can do. Push it away and say, Lord, I don't know. That's a kind of my dream. Probably. They didn't eat their belly full and when they sleep, you could pull anything, you could throw anything. But in the end of the day, if the dream manifests itself in the physical, one thing don't do. Do not do this. Do not point finger at God and say, Lord, all he could I do. Lord, you know me. I start to go with all he works. God will not judge you by your works. No. He will judge you by what, what, you, man, what you do for him. How you live your life. Come into this countdown, everybody. How you live your life. Alright? How you live your life. God is God. He is God. Before any one of us was existed in this world. And today, he's still God. He's still going. You know what I was always be kind of thinking about? I remember before I became a Christian. I started going to church when I was small, but then after I went into the world and you know, riding motorbikes and all these things, climbing. But one thing I will make sure that I will not get myself in a conflict with God affairs. Nah. Me and affair, me and affair, no church, nobody in church, me and affair, no temple, no mosque, not me. If I go to funeral, why go somewhere? Even though I don't know where they say, I go to eat. I go for food. So I will eat, smile on a few people, and I'm gone. That's me, you know. That's me. I ain't getting into no kind of thing. No kind of thing. But will you believe the same way that God assigned and ordained people to do His will? It's the same way the devil assigned people to do His will. Satan assigned people to be destroyers. Yeah. To, to be destroyers. And he set them up in some high places. 
And I will tell him why I say not. We are free to places. We have been to radio stations. And I see the devil on top in that high place. So the preach them. The music is good. But you wouldn't know what I'm inside here. I am been in church and people that was put in high places, high position. I see the devil with my own eyes and talk to them. Because at one time I don't even get carried on and say, Lord, without me, Lord, nothing can happen. You fool. Go home and think of him. So God used me many a time. Sister Harrison was 12 years ago coming down, always dealing with those that is in high position because Satan was in a high position. He was a head worshiper in heaven. And what did happen? He tried to take over heaven. I didn't know what God did. God did my kid in behind and lightning come out. And since he come down, he never went back. Everybody, somebody say praise the Lord. Come on. Say hallelujah. Come on. Take it up, brother. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take it up, brother. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shout Jesus. 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 Wow, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The authority that God gave you, He use it. And when I sing, I realize about me. I always use my authority now. I am putting it on the girl's skin tone. You know, like, you put on something, you know, a stereo or something, and you have played it when you go to play it. Nothing I work it. No. Using my authority. Yes is yes, no is no, right is right, wrong is wrong, and I go ahead with it. Forward ever, backward never, read again. Therefore, it is necessary to submit to the authorities, not only because of possible punishment, but also because of conscience. I love that. I love that. It is necessary to submit to the authorities. To authorities, not because of punishment, but because of what? Conscience. Because of conscience. So the big question you have people. You have a conscience? If you don't have a conscience, go and show one and buy one in a store and put it in your head. Put it in your belly. Yeah, even though it might be artificial conscience, put it. So at least you say you have something, man. They make an all kind of robot and put in all kind of parts inside them. Put a conscience inside of you because if you do not have a conscience, you'll be missing. You'll be missing body parts. And when you're missing body parts, you will not function like a normal body. You will not function like a, human, a normal human being. People, God is reaching out for his people. God is crying out for his people. And I'm saying, I'm preaching. Just like I'm preaching weeks after weeks. It's on YouTube, it's on Facebook. I do my part, and when I do my part, like Pontius Pilate, I wash my hands. I say, Lord, people are up to you now. But I make sure I do my part. If you're in church and you're here once and I'm preaching, and when you're not in church, they are different preacher. Well, a devil will come preaching to you. Hear what? You can serve two masters at the same time. Advice to you. Desire. You rebuke what I said. And you go and listen to your mentors. Go. 
But I want to tell you something. When you listen to your mentors, make sure you can find them. Make sure you can find them. If you still have birth and you still have life to say, you are the one that encouraged me on this road. Make sure you can find them. Because I know many people I've preached for, but I wish you all have noticed in the past. And you know what? I'm being honest with all of you. There are other people preaching to them. I want to die. The family invited me to the funeral and I never went. Never went. Because God will be using people to preach here and the devil of people who he also use. Yeah. Look at the man or look at the little top for him. When he be in church, all you gonna do is only go to church. All you gonna do is only go to church. I'm gonna go to church. And you have an encounter with Jesus. That's all you really think. But I bring it in a kind of embarrassing, shameful way. Now. I don't gotta go nowhere. You know what for it? I don't gotta go, go nowhere. All I just gotta go, only in church. Everything is church, church, church. When you can go up to the world and let everything be the devil, devil, devil. At the end of it, it will make super deal. Follow those kind of teachers, those kind of preachers. Let me tell you, my Bible says, in Christ, there's everything that I could ever want. There's joy, peace, happiness. Read all the fruits of His Spirit. Everything that I could ever want. Is a shameful thing. God want to do a new thing in his people life. Everybody, we said we have heard about an earthquake in, I think in the western side of Trinidad. I didn't have my measuring tape, so I couldn't measure it. So, what I heard, that's what I will tell you. So, it's somewhere so. My friend sisters will be that cold man. They go, Martin. She said, You feel that? I said, If it happened anywhere, so I go feel it. I said, No. She said, She feel it. I was very strong. Well, I just be the spirit of all the guys with the spirit of God, the palm of God moving. Me and all the. I would feel, if you would come in, I feel like I'm ready to sleep. So I might think that the power of God. That's the spirit of God. So, and my church had no finish. It was something to lie down. And the spirit was real flowing. You tell me you inside the church and the power of God was moving. And people slain all over and I would break on me. Same time, you would tell me you feel that you would break. You would pro probably would feel a spread your own work. So I believe God is waking up his people, God is calling his people. He's using all kind of different method, all kind of action. But I want to let the church know. I want to I've reached a place in church. I tell you what. If God waking you up and you want to wake up, feel free and wake up. If God waking you up and you don't want to wake up, feel free and sleep. Everybody, I want to go on YouTube so you can play back and hear what I said. If God waking you up, you don't want to wake up, feel free and sleep. If God is waking you up and you want to wake up, feel free and wake up. The choice is yours. Sleep forever. Or you can be waking and wake and be alive forever and ever. That's where I reach with human being. That's my line with human being. I preach, I throw it out, I talk to everyone, and you know what? If they do their part, and I use the word if. If they do their part, fine. If they don't do their part, fine. Because God is never lacking. He's never in want. Right? He's never in want. When Elisha went and said, Lord God, they are killing out all your prophets, killing out everybody. You know what God told him? I have 7,000 more reserves, so don't hang up your head. Don't worry. God said he has 7,000 more reserves. 
Amen, everybody. God is a good God. Don't be led by your own stinking thinking, but be led by the Spirit of God. You pray that the Spirit of God direct you. Let Him give you dreams. If you give you dreams that you want to come in this church, then come. If you give you dreams that you should be in our next ministry, then go. Everybody, God is not the lucky. God is God. I don't know where you will find the next preacher preaching like the way I preach. The reason why I preach like the way I preach because I know what the word of God said. I'm not preaching to compromise or to kneel to nobody. I'm preaching so that in the end of the day, I bring honor and glory unto God. And that's the word of God. That's the word of God? That's the word of God. You like it? Yes. Well, when I like it, just to know that's the word of God. <laughs> so, for the Lord, somebody, give Jesus a big clap. Come on. Marcel. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yes, brother. Heavenly nine. Righteous. If you like you stand up for Jesus, but you can't, you can't, watch me, you can't have a foot. One on your road, one on the devil. Broad road, narrow road. Make up your mind and put your two foot in the broad road. And put your two foot in the narrow road. Talk done. Talk done. I want to believe the way I just preach. Nobody should come and ask me after any question. Because I detail it. I tell you. If you're not sure, it's on YouTube. Go, go hear it. Watch it. Just do it. God is not compromising again. God is God. Alright? We'll get the work that God called us on this earth to do. The job will be done. Must be done. Must be done. Alright? So I want to thank God. I want to thank God for everybody. This morning, this morning, this morning. Such a great